Pharmaceutical companies say they will not make a commitment to lowering the list price of prescription drugs, but they say they would support some administration proposals to reform the health care system. Executives from seven top drug companies testified before Congress yesterday. They blamed high prices on barriers within the health care system. Americans are projected to spend up to $550 billion on prescriptions this year. That's up more than 54 percent since 2010. Anna Werner shows us the bipartisan effort to address rising costs. Pharma executives, all of you that are here today, are here because the way you've been doing business is unacceptable. In a nearly four-hour hearing on Capitol Hill Tuesday, senators from both parties pressed top pharmaceutical executives about their company's pricing practices. For something which over-the-counter is 200 bucks a month, and we're paying $2,600 a month, it is almost as if the taxpayer has stupid written on their face. The pharmaceutical leaders pointed much of the blame of soaring drug costs to middlemen known as pharmacy benefit managers, who negotiate drug prices with manufacturers and insurers. Unfortunately, the horribly misaligned incentives within our healthcare system often makes medicines unaffordable for American patients. We need to fix this. Two years ago, Kathleen Washington told us the price of her insulin was more than she could afford. I must pay my mortgage. And so if it's a choice between the mortgage and the insulin... It's going to be the mortgage. The 76-year-old says she's still struggling to pay for that insulin, which can reach as high as $600. To help make ends meet, she relies on free samples from her doctor. It is a disgrace that you would charge that amount of money for something that is so necessary for so many people. On Tuesday, those executives would not commit to lowering the list price they charge for drugs. No one company can unilaterally lower list prices without running into financial and operating disadvantages that make it impossible to do that. For CBS This Morning, I'm Anna Werner. It is an issue affecting millions of Americans.